Chief Minister Tony Brown explaining to the Manx press today that the ending of the health agreement with the UK was a decision made in Westminster and had nothing to do with the Manx government. No, clearly Stating the that the UK authorities right could no longer afford to cover to their residents when travelling abroad, even as far kingdom. as the Isle of Man. Uh, the reality is, which was confirmed yesterday again to us, but this time by the Secretary of State personally, was that in fact the United Kingdom have a clear policy, and that policy is that they will not cover the cost anymore of people from the United Kingdom who travel outside the United Kingdom. And therefore, um, because of that, they wish and are terminating the agreement. So what does this mean for people travelling from the Isle of Man to the UK and vice versa from the 1st of April this year? Well, emergency treatment will still be covered, but anything after that and the clock is ticking. The point is, we can be as angry as we like. The point is the UK has made its decision. That was confirmed yesterday. What we want to do and our priority is to ensure now that people know they need to make sure they have health insurance when they go off the island, when they're going on holiday, now to the UK. TT riders already have to have insurance, but visiting fans will be less likely to know that should they fall ill or have an accident, they won't be covered for long-term hospitalisation. Manx charities have voiced their concerns. Taking a group away to the UK for a holiday might soon prove impossible. Uh, people could end up leaving the Isle of Man. Uh, rather than actually becoming prisoners in the island, some people are saying that uh, it's quite possible that they're looking now to leave the Isle of Man so that they can be covered if they live in the United Kingdom for the health agreement. It's that dramatic. It'll be the most vulnerable people in the Manx society who'll feel the pain the most. Those with pre-health problems trying to take out a health policy before travelling could find their premiums anywhere between five and eight hundred pounds for one single trip to the United Kingdom. If I broke my leg or something, I could go to A&E, I understand that, but if there's any complications after that, what happens? Hmm, I don't know. Well, you might have to pay. Yes, but if I pay, I can't afford to pay. So, unless I get an insurance, but how much is the insurance going to cost? Because sometimes the older you get and if you've got ongoing problems, it's more expensive and the flight from the Isle of Man is quite dear as well, so I don't know, I really don't know. It probably means family won't be able to come over here or I won't be able to go over there. But it's not just the old and needy who are worried. I will be tied to the island. I, I, my, my family won't be able to visit me for, for their health reasons and I can't go there. So we will be, we'll be separated by this problem. There's little doubt many of the more vulnerable members of the Manx Society feel worried that their options to go to the UK are now going to be limited. I can see it's worrying you, though. Mm, I'm very worried about it, yeah, very worried. But I don't know, I really don't know. It's just a nightmare, to be honest.